uh, reporting to you live from the Sport Rap Show. We are here in Grootfontein where we've had a uh, beautiful matches of rugby being played. But before we continue with that, let's uh, hop on back to Danny and ask him, uh, ask him for the results of the day. We're starting off here with a log of the FMB number. Uh, excuse us for that. That was a mistake, unfortunately. We're back to net netball here, Saturday, 16 July. And your results there, Blue Waters, 23 NCS. That's Namibia Correctional Services, winning there with 52 away from home. Groot Fontaine, 36, beat 28 Young Stars. Correctional services again 52 against 22 in Northern FB and then the last two on your right Afro Lions 29 points to the 33 of 11 arrows and then the Navy beating Rebels 54 to 38. And then also your rugby results for today the 16th of July. You see the scores are not yet filled in there. We look at the bottom a reserve league. We're coming to the Premier League later. Kudos, uh, Kudos beating United at home 33-17. Grootfontein losing 5-21 to Wanderers. And then Rio Falcon 21 at home. Just beating Western Suburbs. And also in the reserve league, Unam at home beating Riobot 20-16. Also, volleyball results for you in the Premier League. UNAM beating Africa 3-1. to one. The Namibia Defence Force, that's B3-0 to Nast. And that's the men's side. And on the 15th of July, we'll see there at your bottom, NOVC beating UNAM 3-0. Also drawing 0-0 with KNVC. And Africa beating the Kings. Three love. Um, good day here. Um, Sport Rep is here with you. So, um, tell us, what do you think of this league and what's your name actually? Oh, I'm Amanda Mureka. Um, we are in the CVA, this is Central Volleyball Association. Um, our league is quite a lifestyle i can say because on saturdays when we have our free time or whatever this is where we spend our day and it's actually surprising how it has grown and yeah okay, like so for which team do you play i play for unam volleyball club okay um well it's it's, all, it's always good to have um, a team from the university playing here so yes. um since the league started how has the team been doing like you're saying it's a university so we have students in the club so we have difficulties with students going on holidays exams but otherwise we've been doing well with the resources that we have okay with the resources that you have okay. yes so um where do you want to see your team at the end of uh, this week hopefully getting into the top four by god's grace but yes so which which is um probably one of the teams that um is very difficult in this league to play against Oh, at the moment we have the champions, which is Revivals, and uh, Kudos, and as well as the Namibian Police uh, Comas region, yes. Okay, thank you so much. No, you're welcome.
Looking now at the Hollard Namibia gravel and dirt results here. Gerard Mans, as expected, leading the men's score sheet in 2 hours, 50 minutes, 22, followed by Ingram Cuff, 2 minutes, 50 and 25. Only 3 seconds separating them. And Drikus Kutsia taking the first, uh, third place in 3 minutes and 21. In the women's scores, John Yenis beating the rest there, 3 minutes and 20 seconds on the dots. Followed by Candice Wiggle, 3.34.07. And Melissa Hinz completing in the third place with 3 minutes, 34 and 07 seconds. Yes, uh, and with that we go, we move over to Swakopmund, where we had the re reserve league that took place, and Kudus took on uh, Trusco United. Uh, stay tuned for those highlights. <laughs> that took on Wanderers here at the home ground at the Hortfontein uh, Rugby Club. Stay tuned for those highlights. Well, the two one highlights are not, but I think it's some of them. The first one highlights. Let's see that. Ja, daar kom ons kyk hulle, Obed Norkie, gooi die bal daar ver, en Erik Strauss kyk vir Jack Tron, kry die bal in die hande, André van den Berg, hy tik om net so dier vir Nandi Karyombe, hy kry die bal in die hande, Ronnie Dek kry om nie onder beheer nie, en Nandi Karyombe kry die bal in die hande, hulle druk die eerste drie, vir Wanderers. Goeie drie van Nandi Karyombe, dit is die eerste van drie vir hom gewees, kyk vir Jack, Jack Tron, hy wees, wees, wees daar na André van den Berg toe, hy vang hulle uit, en hy druk die drie, kyk hoe geniet hy dit, Lekker drie, onder die pale, druk Jack Tron die drie, hy vier sy terugkeer tot die wandere span, somme met die drie, goeie drie wat hulle daar druk, André van den Berg, nie baie foute verkeerd gesit met die skopvoet vandag nie, die wind so'n bykie gepla later aan, akkie fout met daar die ene nie, ja toe was dit natuurlijk groot van tuin sy beerd, Alle eerste drie op die punte te kry, kyk daar, lekker voor en gaan, Wiekes Jacobs, kyk hoe gooi die bal daar uit, Martinsen, dis die man wat in die handen kry, was al einde klaar oor die lijn, Martinsen, Martinsen, en hy druk die drie, hy druk die drie vir, vir Grootfontein, Louis Grobbelaar, nie een fout voet, nie een voet fout gesit, hy het die fout gemaakt op die skoppe vandag nie, en hy het al drie deur gekry, nou is het André van de Merwe, hy het op kool te besluit, hy kom ons koppale toe, om een verdoelde drie meer as een verdoelde drie voor te kom, wat hulle ook gedoen het, en, ja, kyk hier so, Jack Tron, kyk vir Jack Tron, hoe hard hard loop hy hier, so hy wacht daar, André van den Berg, hy was onder steuning Obert Norkie, binnenkant toe gegaan, vir ingeval hy om nodig het, maar André van den Berg om nie nodig gehad nie, hy druk hier, hy druk sy drie, en hy het een verdoel ook, druk sy drie en hy verdoel om, Ja, is nog altyd, daar was die halftijd telling 24-7, was die halftijd telling gewees. Dat was goed gedoen nou, nou kom ons kyk weer, tweede helft is die drie, Grootfontein, hulle het een baie, baie vroeg in die eerste, in die tweede helft het hulle goeie drie gedrukt daar, 
rolmal beweging aan die gang gekry, allemaal daar ingeklim daar, en op jou einde was het indruk van seil wat daar die drie gedruk het. Hy is die man wat daar onder op die grond af opgestaan het. Druk van seil. Ons kyk, Louis Grobbelaar ook hier fout gemaakt met hierdie ene nie. Hoe is kopwerk daar van die skopkegel af gedoen vandag? Daar is een bykie die skare. Ons kyk hier so, Louis Grobbelaar, hy kan om plat daar. Gelukkig vir hom. Jack Tron, hy vat hom baie vinnig. Hy gee my daar die man wat hy daar in die handen kry is Darius van Solons. Darius van Solons val oor drukkie drie. Meeste van die grootfontein verdedigers is daar die stadium op die grond gewees. Hy vinde genoeg reageer nie. Hy sê Jack Tron. Hy het sy dag gevier hier so. Hy het klomp drie, kyk daar so. Ver uit gegee daar, hy gee nie die skop die deur. En dan die karri omwee. Hy gaan wacht amper vir die bal daar. En hy druk sy tweede drie. Druk hy toe. En die karri omwee. Hy het goed gespeel vandag. Baie goed gedoen. Hy was woelig gewees. Maar hy van die berg, van die kantlijn af, hy is een bykie, amper gedink, hy het hierdie in al begin sikkel, maar daarom nie. Hy het hom nog oor geskop, van die kantlijn af, moeilikere geskop. Hou sit hem, as jy woendie, kyk vir as jy woendie, hy tel die bal daar op, hy trak sy oor plat, hierdie kant toe, hy het nog baie werk gehad om te doen. Raai en Koetsie, die tweede opstaan was te veel vir hom gewees, hy besluit nie wat. Los maar, en hy laat vir as jy woendie toe. Om die drie terdik in die hoekie, en hier het Louis Grobbelaar, Ek dink sy skop van die dag is skop, van die kantlijn af, kyk daar, dis die kantlijn wat die daar sien. Skop hy, hy skop hom wel is waar tis in die pale deur, goeie skop van hom, hy het nou die 21 gemaakt, dis waar hulle toe geëindig het om net daar die 21 punte. Hier aan die einde was hy daar, kyk sy Denzo Brouwer, stier hy weer daar vir Karion weer weg, vir sy derde drie, drie kins. Hy heb alle drie kins. Ja, Groot Fontein, hy het nog hierna moedig probeer, maar ek dink die koel was dier die kerk toe gewees. Gelukkig vir hulle, Ah, Jack Tron, hy krij die drie, hy wacht vir die bal, maar is die Jambu Chua, hy druk, hy val, pik die bal op, en hy val oor, hy druk sy drie, toe het ons gedink, dit is alles nou voorbij, is einde nie, maar toch nog altyd nie, toe nou nie, daar is die telling gewees, eindtelling 49-21, want er is al twee hulle spanne, wat hier gaan wegstap, met die wen vandag. That we move over to Danny, who's gonna give us a run through of the log. Stay tuned. Okay, Salvo. And here it is the log in the FMB Namibia Premier League rugby competition as it stands. So Kudu's taking the lead, or still staying in the lead there with. Uh, 10 points followed by Wanderers, the first team playing today in Grootfontein and getting a good result there also with 10 points and uh, FMB UNAM then followed by Western Suburbs and in the lower ranks Reobot's first team followed by Grootfontein, Trasco United and Rio Falcon. Uh, that scenes here yeah, from the field in Grootfontein where people are still sticking around. Uh, some of them already not on your screen looking at uh, the match in the rugby. And this is your Sunday drop now. And in your image there is of course soccer. Now tomorrow at 7 in the evening there is no other place you can be except to watch Namibia's brave warriors. They will battle the Chipolo Polo of Zambia at 7 o'clock in the final of the Kosafa Cup at the Moses Mbibida Stadium in Durban, South Africa. Namibia progressed to the final by beating Mozambique 1-0 after striker Bethel Mudeu scored the only goal of the match in the sixth minute. Zambia booked their place after beating Senegal 4-3 in a pulsating encounter on Friday evening. Namibia is 90 minutes away in this match tomorrow from lifting their second Kusafa Cup if Colin Benjamin's charges fire on all cylinders tomorrow. And that was your Sunday drop on Sports Wrap. We wish you a lovely weekend and please be safe. Cheers. <laughs>